Welcome to the Commercial Lighting Commissioning Technician course. In this segment, we will discuss electrical and lighting terms, followed by some electrical basics. Then we will look at methods of controlling lighting and connecting the systems together. First, let's look at some standard terms and definitions for the basic concepts we'll encounter when working with controllable lighting. Electricity has a few items that can be measured. The first measurement that you will encounter is that of voltage. Voltage indicates the potential for electricity to travel from one place to the next and is sometimes compared to water pressure. Voltage is measured in volts. Electrical current indicates how much electricity is traveling from one place to another and is compared to the diameter of a water pipe. Current is measured in amperes or amps for short. Electrical resistance will measure how much electricity a device or a load will use. Every electrical device we use, such as light bulbs or toasters, will have a resistance value. Resistance is measured in ohms. Finally, we use the term watts to indicate the amount of power which is being used by a lighting circuit. All of these values have a mathematical relationship between each other. Voltage, current, and resistance have a direct relationship as do power, voltage, and current. Electricity is produced in two basic methods which can be easier seen when viewed in a graph form. Direct current, the most basic, provides a steady amount of voltage. Measuring direct voltage is easy since you only have to determine the amount of voltage between the zero line and the positive value. Alternating current, however, provides a sine wave of energy that cycles between positive and negative voltages many times per second. When measuring alternating current, however, you must determine the amount of area enclosed within the positive and negative halves. A mathematical formula, known as root mean square, or RMS, is used to determine this. Therefore, you will see most AC voltage reading indicated with the RMS designation. When it comes to wiring, the most important information to communicate is the diameter of the wire. The American wire gauge is a standard that numerically identifies the diameter of common wire sizes. In basic terms, the lower the number is, the larger the diameter. Refer to the chart on the right side for some examples. Other terms that may be used when describing wire. The conductor will be the metallic core that carries the electricity and is usually made up of copper or aluminum. The insulator will be the outer covering that blocks the electricity and can be made from various plastics, nylon, or even fabrics. All wire types have specifications referring to their gauge, conductance, and insulation. When reviewing the requirements for connection of devices, pay careful attention to all of these specifications. Let's move on to some lighting terms. The base of electrical lighting is the device that creates the light itself, known as the lamp. Often referred to as a bulb due to its curved glass shape, there are many classifications and types of lamp which can be delineated based on the method of creating light, the size and shape of the lamp, and its electrical characteristics such as voltage and wattage. When it comes to controlling these lamps, all can be turned on and off. Additionally, some can be controlled with greater detail, allowing us to produce many lighting levels. Popular dimmable lamps are incandescent, sometimes known as a standard Edison bulb. Miniature reflector lamps are often in recessed lighting, and sometimes even fluorescent lamps. A lighting fixture is a decorative housing for the lamp. Any optical improvements such as diffusion or lenses, and any required electrical or electronic components required to make the lamp function. You will see that in a commercial lighting plan, these fixtures are grouped together by their purpose, such as general lighting, accent lighting, and task lighting. A lighting circuit is commonly denoted on lighting plans by drawing curved lines between each fixture. These fixtures are controlled and operated as one, but a circuit can contain more than one type of fixture. A lighting load is similar in description to a circuit, but in this case, it usually consists of identical fixtures so that they can be controlled by one specific method. You may see both load and circuit being used synonymously, so it is important to review documentation carefully to ensure the correct control method is being used. Thank you for watching.